Right, that's typical. I had to just cut that. Right, okay. So, where were we? <laughs> Do apologise. I had to make a cup of tea for my wife. Normal duties resume. Right, so then, yes. Oh, wow. Oh. It's only the little one, but yeah, we don't need it to be massive. That is. I can get an 8.4 metre foot. Yeah, it's that's actually because the crone is expensive. Why not? So that actually that's <laughs> that stays quite amazing. But what does interest me is that tractor. That is oh, that's typical. Yeah, we we're all right. Yeah, I'll pass on that. It's just header. 8.5 meter. That is a cracking deal, though. What would go with that? An 8.5 meter. We're going to buy the crone definitely. That is without a shadow of a doubt. That's a too good a bargain to miss. We need one of those. So, right. Let's have a quick look. So that also means I am going to buy the. We are going to go for this that mulches and mows. Definitely. Mind you, no, no, again, we're not. Oh no, we are going to need it actually. Yeah, we are definitely mulching. No light system. Yeah, we will do. For what it is, we'll buy that. Right then, please tell me. Yeah, I did reset. I was going to say. Right, okay, so we've got those two. So that's the mowing now sorted and the windrowing now sorted. Now we also need to. Yeah, let's just quickly about this. What? Oh, it's 60 horsepower, isn't it? Now, how big are you? I'll just check. I can't remember that mower. How? It's a very small horsepower. I think it's 90. I think I'm sure it's not 60. Oh, 75. I reckon the little John Deere had managed that. Right, let's go do that. Let's put some lights on because it's a little bit dingy. I forgot I should have changed the time to 9 but then again we are also going to be oh wow that is, yeah, that is bigger right let's take this we'll grab the little John Deere on it that can set going on our field and we're going to need to make a new course and while that's mowing we'll come back grab the windrower and set the windrower course up and then get our baler we are also going to have to buy yeah I am definitely going with that um, with buying the extractor, I am. I like that, and because that loading that we uh, <laughs> pioneered, yeah, I, I will definitely give that a shot. It's a bit. Well, no, it would work. It would work if you'd got the weight to do what it did. I don't know. Again, I'm going to go with game mechanics. It might not be real, 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 but we're going to go with the physics of the game. Which are based upon real life and maybe stretching things somewhat. But I would imagine farmers can do things that they don't necessarily do. You know, you don't always put your equipment to the full test because you might break it. So, yeah, that's one thing I can't really bring in. I'm going to be as realistically as I possibly can and I'm going to stretch physics as far as I possibly can without becoming too silly. Right. Ah, I think. Oh wow, I think we're full growth stage. We are. Oh, amazing. Right, we need to make a course then. Uh, no, not with this though. Right, let's yeah, let's try and set this going now. The asphalt should be red. Lights off. I think little John D is the one at the top, if I remember rightly. We need to drop, or are we going to need this? No, not, not, no. We will, but not till the end. Because we're not going to be. Yeah, so extractor, I think going forwards, what we'll do is we shall set five bales at a time uh, in rows, but also we want space in between the rows, and then we shall stack them three sets high with five bales on top that's not going to be far off the same speed as an automatic loader so I've got no problem with doing that I don't think we're stretching realism too far I mean it, again I did say this in the um, last video it would, would all depend on the strength of the wrap but also obviously it's the weight would be the real the real problem right, let's stick this now then bales yeah 
and stick it by the tree. And wait next to it. Yeah, I should say a 60 horsepower is not going to be... Ooh, hills. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you know, let's... Yeah, we shan't do that. I think it would do it, you know. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Massey, definitely. It is the, uh, it is the obvious choice. I should have left it hooked up. All right, lights, camera, action. Right, let's get this going now. It's not on mulching. Set the course going. But we're going to move over. I'm going to set the course going from the obvious start position, which will be over in this corner, I think. We're going to make sure that we... Yeah, we're going to pretty much do the similar course that we've already done. I might eventually cut that tree off, because it's not a bad place. For, I was talking about a shed down this end. Down here wouldn't be a bad place, just next to the road. So I think, yeah, that in fact, actually, let's do that now. Not cutting the tree, but let's buy a chainsaw. Right, because we're going to need one. Also, our bale thing would double up as a small... Right, let's, yeah, right so let's course play that. So let's pick the right field. We don't want to leave it open for both. So we want to create job, field position there, open generator, 6.8 meters, number of headlands 3, 9%, oh, wow, why oh why you get doing margin? Yeah, that looks nice, that looks, it does, right, let's start job and let's save job in field 48 save course activate 6.2 meter oh. oh my life I moved to that position start the course from there and then it decides it's going to do it from the top seriously right we need to go grab the Windjower. Let's go grab the case. It is the quickest of the tractors we have left. Left. Even. Right. Ooh, it always drags it along. Right. Lights. Let's go grab the windjower. Ooh. And it's, yeah, that was definitely my fault saying about <laughs> about to say the, the, the traffic was vicious but yeah it was my own fault in defence to the person who would now be dead along with myself with this in real life the moral of this story look before you drive across the road it is weird how knowing that something isn't real actually does come into the game as well we always forget the indicators are really weird on this one. Really, yeah, you almost can't see them on the on the back. You can on the front, they're quite high, but you can't on the. Uh, yeah. Yes, realism. That's what we're aiming for. Look before you cross the road. I don't. Know. That's amazing, windrower. Right, so yeah, we will buy the extractor as well. I need to repair this. Let's do that. get away with that. Obviously I need to be exactly in the yellow box. I thought you could get away with 
not quite in the right place, but obviously not. I'm sure I have before. I suppose it could. Right. Let's get this. Oh, it's like one either side, right. Very similar to the bigger one. But yeah, it's only got the two things instead of more. our own. I probably will place it for realism's sake actually at the store. It makes more sense really. Rather than to have it at our farm. I know you could have contractors drop fuel off in a fuel tank. I suppose that's the one reason why a little bit Oh, fence. I always forget that fence. It's way too close to the road. Right, I'm going to do that. I can definitely beat that car. I did see. I was looking that time. to have gone. Oh yeah, it's taking, yeah, it's avoiding the asphalt around there, that's good. It did take that into consideration. Nice to see. Brilliant. Okay, shall we set the window going now? Should we get the mower? Do a little bit more. No, because he's going to do the ups and the... Has he got one more headland? Yeah, we can at least create the course though, can't we? That is one thing we can do. Create a job. Course flow field, no, not that. We want this field and this field alone. Generator, 8. It's not 8.9. Oh, it is, yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking it was the mower. I thought it was 9.7. Hang on a minute. I could have sworn that one was a 9.7, it said. Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry, Cole, we're going to have to argue with you then. Create job. Course play, field position, just this field. And generator, 9.7. That's what it says on the tin. If it doesn't do it, then we shall knock it down. Number of headlands, just two, I think. And 9% overlap, not to go too mad. And no extra bits in case you hit a tree. Oh, we want 90%, don't we? Up, down. Or shall we do it straight? No. I know they're going to be shorter rows, it's going to be a lot of to and fro in, but it's just you've got to work with the field as it is. Is that doing anything? Huh. Let's just open and close that again. Open close. Headland overlap. 90 degrees. Generate field. Manual course. It's going to ignore me. I forgot. Yeah, I've not done this very often. I did watch uh, Scroff do a fantastic video on this. Truly amazing YouTuber. Um, yeah, and I've only seen him do it once, so yeah, you've got to change that to manual. Right, smashing. That is good. Let us save that course. 48, save, activate, and this is a 9.7. It's almost a 10 meter, isn't it? We could have used the 10 meter course, really. 
I suppose. Right then, so. Let's just see. I'm not sure where the start point will be on this. If it's anything like the uh, mower, it'll probably be at the top. So I can just see the course play lines. Yeah. I wonder why it starts at the top of the field like that. Ah, he's on his last headland. Right, we could... Oh no, because these are the two fast tractors, aren't they? Yeah. I don't really want to be sending the little John D. Here. I really don't. It's a bit much. Like to see this in action. I've never seen, never used this particular one. Because I usually would go for the Samas, the 8.4 metre, because it's so reasonable, 18 grand. I mean, that's what I said. I was, was tempted, but I thought, well, it is a little bit bigger. It's nearly 10 metres. It's not a bad size. It'll also do for the windrow when we're doing straw and things like that on the field. So, oh wow, that's a really strange looking. Wow, now that's... Yeah, I didn't realise it did that. That's going to make massive windrows then. Oh, wow. I'm glad I glad we did choose this one now then. That's completely different to what I thought it would be. Might need to stop it though. Uh, partially way through. Because, uh, yeah, I think the next row is going to be more... Mind you, no, you know, we don't want to half do a field... Yeah, we might need to uh, change things a little. They are going to be big windrows. Yeah, when the um, Massey finishes, we should let load this course for the Massey and we'll grab the... Actually, I'm going to go into time-lapse mode. This is going to take a while to do all this. I'm literally only doing the mowing and the windrow tonight. We're not doing the bailing. We'll do the bailing and grab the extractor um, ooh, let's just see how it handles the solar panel perfect, lovely excellent tell you what while these two are doing this I'm going to gonna chop that tree down I'm going to see how placement of the shed oh that's going to muck around with the course though now isn't it? ok ooh, I need to change the mode it doesn't like that and we need to quartz right to left Hate it, you can't see what you're doing Truthfully, we probably could put our sheds on the edge of here, but that those trees are con considerably going to take a little bit more than that. We could do that little one, I suppose. Yeah, I think against that fence. I know technically it's not our land, but it's sort of yeah, it, it will allow us to do it. Yeah, just think one shed. I'm not going to like take liberty liberties, and I might put another one across the road. That way, it's not going to eat into the field. It's a bit naughty. Let's have a look technically where I think. Yeah, I think t to be honest. Oh, it is. It's all ours actually. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, right up to the fence line. Smashing. Okay then. So we have some trees to chop. Not going to go mad. Where we want to go? Yes, yeah, slightly at an angle towards the fence is what I think. Oh, it's not letting me do... Hmm. It thinks, yeah, we'll chop. Yeah, that didn't work out quite as well as it did in my head. As these things often don't. 
Yeah, we'll have to grab that at some point. Ooh. Why did that not grab? Where does it... Okay. Ah, I know, I can see why. It's hitting the tree stump. Ah, the other trees are getting in the way of me doing the tree stump. Right, we'll do that at a later date. Can we lift? Yeah. Is that... Wow. Do you like the generous way giants allow you to lift 126 kilograms? We should... Yeah, we're not going to do this one yet. We will do it though, because I do want to do this. How big is that? Oh, they're both massive ones, aren't they? I don't want to do them falling on the field. Let's have a look. Can we get it to recognise that as a tree stump? No, we cannot. Oh, that's a bit... Oh, that's a shame. Right, okay, tree stump it then. At some point, how are we doing? What's the window doing? Let's have a look, because this is the one I'm interested in. Let's see how Andy's doing. I'm going to change the names. I love Star Wars. Oh, perfect, actually. Lovely. Oh, oh, it's moving it. Oh, no. We're going to have massive windrows. What on earth? That's why it did the core smaller. Yeah. It was taken into consideration the windrows. I've it is 9.7, but if you do it 9.7, it's going to push the windrow and you're going to have a monster windrow. Okay. That is going to be monstrous. I'm going to be creating bales every few. Why did it not do it up there? Okay, we'll do it this time. We've sort of stuck with it in a way. But next time we should change the course. It's making a mess though. No. No, I'm not having that. Let's do it again. Let's delete. And try again, even if we have to do the whole lot of F9.7 meter. Clear. Change mode. Delete entry. Activate. Absolutely sure. Right, let's create a new course then. Uh, oh, we're going to be in his way in a minute. Let's, let's go lower down. Okay. Let's try that again. Next time we might listen to course play. Let's, see, let's open the generator. 8.9 it said, didn't it? Let's try that. I'm going to trust it this time. Two headlands, wood tools, 9%, 90 degrees. Manual generate. Okay. Let's just start the job this time. We're not going to save it just yet, so we're just going to see how that works. Save the course. Just about get away with that. Right, let's see. Let's see how we go. Yeah, we're gonna the first one's gonna be a bit monstrous, but we shall see if this does do what it should do. Oh please change gear.
do is we're going to move across to the next line because there's no point in not doing the uh, redoing what we've already done. Let's go for the nearest. Second headland should be fine. Got to see if this actually does do what I'm thinking it does. Yeah, I'm just going to do this, and then it's the end of the session. You know, literally mow the field. Right, I'm going to go into time lapse mode again. So I'm going to see you guys and girls on the other side.
Well, that managed the the massive managed that fine. Yeah, they didn't like it going up hills, but then I wouldn't have expected it to. For saying it's 75 horsepower out of range, that did very well. Yeah, I'd say just uphill, which you wouldn't expect it to manage well. So, but I think this fully upgraded, and that managed manage this really nicely. Even though it's, I've always thought the masses were a bit overpowered. Yeah, we do like them for that. Right. Yeah. Let's have a look how many we. That's the, we're leaving it there though, because oh, the, the window is still turning. Oh no, it's not. Right, brilliant. Well, that's that lot done. Quite a good job. Wow, they. Is it the same amount of bales as last time? That looks more. Ah, of course. Yeah, session 111. That's including the contract ones. Ah, it's annoying. Oh, well. I, never, I thought in the interest of realism, obviously what I did last session was a test. Uh, I'm also probably going to use this on the old stream farm. But in the, in the interest of realism, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to join three of these together with the extractor. It's more believable. It really is. It would make one large bale, a bit like the RQ sound that sticks all of those mini bales into one giant one. So yeah, I'm not going to stretch it to five or six, but I am going to go for three. It will be easy to um, load. Um, it still might be interesting weight-wise to see what we're doing. You know, how we're going to do that. I think we're going to have to use traditional bale spikes. Won't switch my lights off. But yeah, that's where we're going to leave that. We're going to need to... Yeah, we are going to buy the... In fact, that's the one thing we're going to do. Let's go grab the extractor. We will buy that. We do need it. And we'll bring that across. So, we'll be making progress again. More pieces of equipment. Let's see if we can afford to upgrade the... No, no, we need to keep hold of our money. You never know what's going to happen. Sometimes keeping hold of that. Also, I'd like to... Yeah, the most important thing is to buy that field after the next year. Mind you, we're going to have all the money from the bales thinking about it. So, yeah, one thing we've got to buy is the extract. Well, we could lease the extractor, but I'm not going to. I'm going to buy it because we're going to be... If we buy it, we can use our own equipment for doing uh, all the people's contracts. And for once, you know, I've never bought it. Always moan about the cost of the RQ sound being 90 grand, but that's only a few contracts and we've got it forever. So, trouble is, do I want to be going, staying in this long enough to warrant it? I suppose if we're going to do the extract of the three bales at a time job, it's not going to be too tricky to actually. That's basically two slabs per section, so that's two. Or six bales you could say if we're going to do the three in one to actually fill a trailer that's not going to take that long to do even manually so yeah I think we will do that right let's buy that then bale wrapper hybrid extractor slightly dearer one because I can do both yeah smashing we will indeed buy and you know gonna go for a different colour green's boring. Let's go black for a change. Okay, and we are gonna buy Right, let's run that back to the field. Let's repair the mass as well while we're down here. Yeah, we will place some sort of fuel mod. Down here. And then maybe a store. Oh no, actually, now we're going to do what I always do, actually. I like that. I do like that new. Uh, the pallets of fuel. I've always said that's really reasonable. So I think we will do. Right, we need to. Right, let's take that across. So, more growth. And still 30 grand in the bank. Shall we pay 10 grand off? No, we shall pay some more off the next set of bales when we when we get the silage money from this set, which will be January-ish. We'll wrap these next session, store them, and then we shall go through the winter. We'd 
love to know how many there are though. Let's have a just that's one thing I'd like to do before we scoot. That's just have a bit of a loose count. No, we will do it next time. No ooh a fence. I think what I'm gonna do is in the interests of it's actually to um put something like asphalt down the side so we can see it because it is really whoa. yeah it's really bad you can it's the grass it just looks like it's part of the thing I think I'd like to exaggerate where they are that reminds me I'm not sure if that's costing me I think I've still got that mod on that means doing things like asphalt and that's free I don't want that I want it back to normal I only did that for one uh, session on the Rizu Forest. Oh, a bit of clean up to do down here. Right, so yes, let's, we'll crack on with that next time. I think we'll still manage the, with the little John Deere for a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, I think there probably is the same amount of bales, if I'm honest, when I look at the field. Yeah, I think there is. It should be, because obviously we didn't get, we couldn't get to fertilise, so it's got the natural fertilization of one one set because cutting the grass half fertilizers doesn't it which is why you don't ever need the double application so yeah it's still at 50 percent so this time we will get the well i've, I've done it here yeah 93 percent 100 percent fertilized so yeah we'll run that around next time once we've got these done or we'll get that done and i'll manually do that probably oh imagine i can't right anyway Decisions, decisions for next time. We shall wrap those next time. We have our own baler wrapper now. So we've actually got a full set of equipment. We'll do as I said. We will make three bales, three bales like, out of one. Or oh, sorry, one bale out of three natural bales, which is about 18, 19 and a half tons. Which it's big, but then when you consider some of these square bales, the big straw bales, they're nine tons anyway, so it's only like two of those. But yeah, it's a bit more believable. Still not sure about the weight, and I think to be honest, I, just, I suppose really I thought about this in editing. I could use that little beast and stick the baler on the back of that with the weight. Or just stick the baler on the back of it because again it's it is all about physics it truly is I mean I'm, the only thing I'm not sure of is whether the stole loaders could cope with that kind of weight that I'm not sure I would imagine they've all got loads rating but I can't do anything about that that's why I'm trying to slip this down to three rather than five or six because I think it's more believable if we can join three of those than it would be to join five or six i think that's stretching it somewhat i was just really proof of concept yesterday whether you could actually do that and how far you could stretch physics that was more as a an intellectual um look at physics and how we could do it I'd, in the interest of realism that was more like a can we do this yes we can but it wasn't something i really want to introduce into let's plays I think I did mention I've done it before on a smaller scale, joining them. I think I did that in the old stream farm. But it never clicked that you could use it in the field. I did it down at the uh, BGA and then I used to push the set of six or seven into the trigger. And it was only... Sometimes it triggers something in your mind because you don't apply the same knowledge when you're in the field. But I thought, hang on a minute, why not? But then obviously... As I was doing that, and I would look back in Ed's, and I thought, yeah, but it is highly unrealistic. And I thought, well, yeah, but it's just that was really proof of concept to see if we could actually do it, and we could. But I would, in the interest of realism, probably put three of these together. It's not much bigger than those RQ sands where they join into a massive one, I don't think. But anyway, yeah, I'm sure we could probably get away with three. And you could put the bale spikes in the middle one, being as it's joined as one. And I think we could probably get away with it, but we shall see. It may be that we have to buy proper front loader for the um, Massey, to be honest. Yeah, or get the back lifter for the case, the one that we, that might actually work. 
12 tons plus yeah I mean a lot of it's down to centre of gravity as well it's not just weight but that's a 12 tonner but I think this one with a bail on the bailer on the back with we'll see we'll test it again it's a matter of physics isn't it we, we just see what happens with joining three bales and lifting three bales onto the thing if it's if it's too unbelievable or it's silly we'll just join two it's still it's still a bonus if you think we would be put in two so that means I think we could probably safely get six twelve eighteen bales that's three high which would mean we would be handling nine bales if we did two I prefer the idea of six but yeah even so that's still good so growth I am going to end it there but yeah any comments though please yeah what, what you sort of think yourselves about uh, this but I mean I'd, I'd say I think I'm going to go for two or three and please by all means if anyone's got an opinion on this please don't hesitate to voice it because I, I am interested in uh, realism as far as the mechanics go but also realism in other people's eyes the last thing I wish to do is offend people I know people all of us have got like I have with other people's videos where you think oh that's oh, you've ruined it now because you've gone too far or I mean yesterday was more of a proof of concept that wasn't really that's what I'm going to do normally it was like it is this idea going to work and I do think it, it's good to show other people sometimes to stretch things but it's not something I would bring into let's do this in every let's play going forwards but to, to join two or three with the extractor actually makes the extractor quite a quite an advantage over all other beta wrappers because it's something you uh, can only do with this so yeah I think even if it was only two joining two at a time it's an awful lot I, I, I wanted to play realistically I've said this before now obviously I love the Anderson bail trailer when I'm working my rounds because you there isn't it's no stress there isn't but if you could grab two of these as a slab and stick those or even three three I'd prefer but if that's unbelievable if it's stretching things too much then I'd stick to two it'd be an awful lot easier to I think to load the bale trailers with far less the more you load the harder and longer it takes for you to actually load your when you work in silage obviously there is no option for anything else but I mean silage is what you through FS19 and FS22 it's it's where the real money is hay's all right and you would do it if you'd got animals but it's not really where the money is it's yeah not much more the grass whereas silage tends to be about three times the bale price of a one of hay I think let's have a quick look to see if I'm spouting nonsense or whether I'm speaking sense that's silage 327 hay yeah it is it is three times I thought it was I did think so so yeah you get three times the amount for silage so it's obvious who wouldn't go for silage you just need to get a baler wrapper but obviously there's another advantage to this in so much as if you can wrap those into the tubes into a believable size that you could handle with a hefty enough weight on the back and maybe with a bigger tractor like the Massey yeah if you could do that or a telehandler if you could do that it would mean that you could stick to manual bale handling all the way through quite comfortably and I'd like that that that's it appeals to me in the re in the realms of realism that we could actually do that also I'd like to test my theory on loading this to go in the middle this handles nicely three bales oh my just gonna yeah it's gonna throw things out a little bit of doing it this new way but we should we'll, we'll get there the other thing is yeah if I'm doing three am I gonna load them that away or am I gonna load them that away we should test we, again this is where you have these theories until you start playing with things and you actually think ah, actually four would have been better or two's better then yeah but that's what we'll go with right anyway enough waffling from me any comments though please and again growth and we've got 30 grand left in the bank this is this is definitely good and we've got our final court and it did grow to full growth stage which shocked me I thought we'd only get to second growth stage but now this stops growing till next March we shall fertilize it next session which is only half that 10 meter didn't do badly 
because I did start it on double application rate which was a waste it was only when I was halfway up the field that I thought you plonker it's half fertilized anyway you're wasting it so then I switched to single so I reckon we'd probably do a complete circuit which is quite a lot on a single application so and oh that was the other thing I was going to say I did have loaded it in that's um not sure what it's going to be under I would imagine it's under slurry tanks it's yeah I loaded it in earlier I did I remembered I'd seen it it's quite phenomenal well it might not be on this it might be under yeah it's not right okay so well that's uh, that can be under animals a lot of the water ones and that are aren't they T3 they're not bad I use those for milk and that oh yeah they are only milk and water yeah that's water only there we go the SMP3 oh and gone oh it's milk liquid fertilizer oh and herbicide that's a shame 10,000 litre capacity I tell you this much though for a water container that's fantastic how much is that oh that's the yeah that'll be that's still not bad though even as five five tons for 3,850 not that one though the actual proper yeah the tanker like that but if you go to the 50,000 litre it's I would imagine that's going to get quite expensive, but again, let's have a look. Yeah, twenty one thousand one hundred for a fifty tonner. Let's have a look at the proper ones. Was the only thing I, I I do love them, but let's have a look at the actual water liquid slurry tanks what will that be under it's under animals isn't it we've just looked let's have a better look the proper tankers I was in there you wally yeah they're just they are good but how much are these ones? Yeah, again, it's only milk, water, and liquid fertilizers, isn't it? That's where the liquid support that was special, wasn't it? I am gonna have to that load that in. I think it was a bit dearer than we could. Well, I suppose we could go the twenty-one gram one, but I don't know. When you think how expensive the mepper set is, you can no. I think we'll just stick to just keep running back to that, or maybe having the five tonner. It's imagine it's not even a full no we'll, we'll leave it as is for now we never know we could get something on sale like one of the big garants and stick that on the side of the field at the top or something or or sh that's a point yeah I never thought of that you could dot around containers petrol petrol large liquid fertilizer stainless I've not had a look at these yet water Oh, got filled with different products. What different products? Oh, would it be under animals? Are there no, that is just literally right. So it will be under containers, won't it? Buildings, container. Let's have a quick look. You guys probably know this already. I, I don't actually. I've not done enough uh, animals bits yet to warrant this. Crops. Water station, okay. It's not one of the silos, is it? Crops. I know for a fact there are the storage things for yeah, liquid manure, that's right. Five hundred tons. You could stick a couple of those on the edge of the field somewhere. No, I know. I'm sure there were some smaller ones. Slurry pit. So you just like haul slurry and drop it in. So you'd still need a. That would be cheap though. You could stick those in a couple of places on the edge, in 
Yeah, that would work. I've never never tried to do that, but it would work. Yeah. Liquid manure tank. Slurry pit. To store liquids. What is the capacity? I shall have to do some digging. Definitely. What is that? 5,000 for a multi-fruit. Oh my life, I didn't even know that existed. That's amazing. For five grand. Right, well, I didn't even know that was in. Right, anyway. Enough waffling. That's fantastic. I've learned a few things myself. Yeah, it's amazing. You load mod packs in sometimes for a specific mod and don't realise the other things that come with it. So yeah, I think we could go that route. Again, in time just sharing my thoughts about if this turns into a full let's play I'm going to buy 48 and 49 so it does make sense that obviously the corner where the solar panel is probably would be a really good place to have the liquid, I know we've got the multi-fruit well, I suppose we have got the multi-fruit buying down there, but also in time I would always like to, like a nucleus going around you can't, I always forget you can't see my yeah, oh, let me just move that yeah you can see that I know right so yeah a nuclear like around the edges probably those fields there if we were going to go that big and if it turns into a full blown let's play really but yeah I don't think that's the way we'd probably go we've got the two grass fields first because they're the cheapest but I would I'm not sticking in grass forever because I do my old stream farm I love that and we, we've we got normal field work as well but all of the contracts are all silage and I sort of sometimes think yeah, it's probably a bit much for people all of the time you're doing the same contract and even the same contracts. I did think that last time and I was like, so these are my favourite two contracts. I thought, yeah, but do people want to see that? Even if like 33 and 36 on that is a bit harder, people really do want to see something different. So I thought, yeah, it, it's true. If you're inviting people in, you've got to think about other people's shaking things up a little bit it's not all about you being comfortable and like doing the things that suit yourself it's actually about believable and also showing people different things not doing the same thing over and over otherwise people are going to think oh no not those same two fields again so yeah going forwards i'm going to be taking these type of things definitely um it's more important to create good con content anyway no more waffling Thank you very much for watching. Any comments about whether this should be turned into a proper let's play or whether everyone's happy with it just saying there's like a nuclear me doing a few set a few um bits to bring Medved in out. I should say the right name and noticed in <laughs> I was talking about something. Oh that's right, it was the um the Meprosette. And I, I used the because I've got Meprosette in my head. I said, "Yeah, on Meprosette." And I think it's not called Meprosette; it's Medvedin. So yeah, on Medvedin. If we, I, I actually like this, I think it's a beautiful map. And I would like to say I'm going to probably take a couple of contracts up high in the mountains, not for the sake that I want to do contracts up there, but for the fact I want to show you all. 45 and 46 although it looks like yeah they were the ones I did last time very interesting fields and it shows that entire quadrant the, the forest up the top it's a beautiful map and also have a bit of a wander around the old farmyard which is let me just do the thing again yeah there that is the where the original farmyard would have been 21 and that they tend they are the original farmyard so yeah I'd like to show you all around it's why I wanted to do this a bit of a a mini let's play but yeah I mean we needed to bring some money as well in case it turns into a proper full-blown let's play but also I wanted to show the map off a little bit a bit more than a map review because I always think as good as it is for people to take you on map tours and it is fantastic you still don't see enough I think on I'd like to be showing some of the beautiful places, and I, I miss a Cilipedo as that sometimes. But again, he's he often trying to rush things in because of his time limits on his recordings, and he he whooshes by, and you know, I mean, there are other don't get me wrong, there are other content creators as well who also do map reviews. Farmer Klein does some good ones as well, and he has like a point system and all the rest of it, which is brilliant. But yeah, I think I also like to see what is beautiful as well as you know show me the highlights of the map what you think is gorgeous but I suppose again 
Does everybody feel the same way about that? It's yeah, I suppose it swings around the bats. Anyway, I really am going this time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to stick with me on this and tell me if we should stick on this. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.